Russia's Black Sea flagship Moskva passing through the Istanbul Bosphorus waterway ahead of the invasion one last time. The Moskva was not the only Russian warship lost to Ukrainian forces. Any replacements of vessels destroyed must pass through Turkish controlled waters. But Turkey is severely curtailing Russian warship access to the Black Sea under the International Montreux Convention. Turkey closed the Turkish Straits, uh, both Dardanelles and Bosphorus, uh, for the Russian naval transit. Only the ships belonging to Black Sea Fleet, they can uh, use, they can claim they are going back to their home bases and they can transit. By not be able to bring new vessels, uh, they have to use their aging assets in the Black Sea fully engaged with the Ukraine campaign. Russia's assault on Ukraine is also hindered by Turkish-made drones extracting a heavy toll on its forces. But Moscow is refraining from criticizing Ankara. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov this month described Turkish relations as excellent. This week, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan spoke by telephone with his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin, as part of his mediating efforts. Analysts suggest Turkey's refusal to enforce Western sanctions against Russia is one reason why Moscow is wary of upsetting Ankara. But Russia maybe doesn't want to isolate Turkey as a, as a potential uh, mediator and as one of the few remaining countries which are willing to deal with Russia sort of on an equal basis in the midst of all the sanctions and anti-Russian sentiment. Russia, in the past, has used its military presence in Syria as leverage over Turkey by threatening to set off a new exodus of refugees into Turkey. Analysts say Putin had an advantage in his relationship with Erdogan, but the war in Ukraine is forcing a rebalancing. So Turkey has a stronger hand now towards Russia. Uh, Russians have ways of signaling displeasure to Turkey when uh, they uh, didn't like Turkish actions or Turkish sales to Ukraine by way of bombing certain targets in Syria or, or doing something in Libya. And it's harder for them to do so now. They do want to preserve Turkey as a semi, in its semi-neutral status. They want to have an economic lifeline. They want to have a logistical hub. The sight of Russian warships frequently passing Istanbul is for now a thing of the past, as Turkey enforces a ban on Russia's access to the Black Sea, not only complicating Russia's Ukrainian invasion, but making clear that its relationship with Moscow is becoming one of equals. Dorian Jones, VOA News, Istanbul.